Hey, have you heard of this new diet? What diet? It's the intermittent fasting diet. It's all over social media. Oh yeah, actually a couple of my friends are trying it out right now. They're oh, yeah. loving it. That's so cool. I wonder if it actually works. Yeah. Hmm. What is intermittent fasting? It is a type of diet that involves a feeding pattern where there is a restriction of energy intake for a period of time, followed by a normal food intake, reoccurring on a daily basis. For example, Bob here follows the 68 type of intermittent fasting where he starts eating at 12 in the afternoon and the feeding window is open for 8 hours total. Once it hits 8 o'clock, he fasts from 8 p.m. to 12 p.m., a total of 16 hours. There are multiple different methods of intermittent fasting, including an every other day fast, or like Bob, a daily fast such as the 168 fasting diet. You might be thinking, how does that make you lose weight? Is it healthy to fast for this amount of hours? Well, let's take a look into the mechanisms and the science behind it. After you eat a meal, your body will break down the components of food such as carbohydrates, fats, and protein and uses them as an energy source to fuel the body. Normally, the body prefers to burn carbohydrates first before any other sources. That is, carbohydrates are the first to be broken down into smaller sugar molecules which our cells utilize for energy. Extra energy that is not immediately required gets stored into fat. With intermittent fasting and prolonged fasting times, the body can no longer rely on carbohydrates as a source of energy. Instead, the body will have to start getting energy from the previously stored fat. Therefore, fasting allows the body to burn fat from those fat storages, reducing the percentage of fat in our body and make us lose weight. When a study by Lee et al. looked into the effect of a type of intermittent fasting known as the every other day fasting on mice in order to understand the science behind it and how that affects the metabolic processes. They discovered that this particular diet causes our white adipose tissues to turn brown and shrink, a process known as the beijing of white adipose tissue which can lead to weight loss. This is driven by the reshaping of the gut microbiota which is a group of microbes in the gut that plays a vital role in maintaining good health. Therefore, the effects of intermittent fasting are improving metabolic health, increasing insulin sensitivity, and reversing obesity. It is important to note that these experiments were done on mice and it is important to test the metabolic processes on humans as results might slightly change. The benefits of intermittent fasting don't just stop there. In fact, intermittent fasting has several other scientifically proven health benefits. Some may argue that the human body is meant for the fasting state as our ancestors from thousands of years ago followed a diet comparable to intermittent fasting. And as such, intermittent fasting positively changes some processes in your body to adapt to it. One of these major changes is enhancing the process of autophagy or boosting your body's automatic cleaning system. Think of it as a Roomba vacuum in your body that automatically cleans up the damaged or dead components of cells. Intermittent fasting promotes autophagy, which is known to have anti-aging effects, keeping your cells younger and healthier. Other studies have also shown that the increase in autophagy due to intermittent fasting delays the onset of age-related diseases. These include cancer, Alzheimer's disease, and heart disease. Lowering the risk of heart disease is especially important at 29% of all the deaths that occurred in Canada in 2013 were due to heart disease. In fact, a study by Matson et al. showed that the intermittent fasting mice had decreased insulin resistance and risk factors for heart disease, directly counteracting against type 2 diabetes and its risk. Another study that just came out this year looked at the effect of the intermittent fasting diet in obese people. The study used an 8-hour time-restricted feeding, which is an eating schedule that restricted feeding between 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and water fasting between 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. for a total of 12 weeks. 
In this study, 23 people who are classified as obese were recruited and put on this diet. The results were compared to a historical control group with the same size. Subjects' total daily intake of energy, including fat, protein, carbohydrates, cholesterol, and fiber, were recorded. Surprisingly, after the 12 weeks, they found a significant decrease in body weight and decreased calorie intake compared to the control group. In addition, they also observed a decrease in blood pressure among individuals who are on the diet. On the other hand, they did not see any difference in heart rate, cholesterol level, blood sugar, and other risk factors that might cause metabolic diseases such as diabetes. While the weight losing result seems promising, it is important to keep in mind that the subjects of the study were mainly African American women. Adherence to the diet plan was also self reported. Therefore, the eating duration and calorie calculation may be subjective. You might be wondering now, okay, so we know it works, but how does this diet hold up compared to other diets? Is it any better? Let's look into another study that looked at the effects of an intermittent fasting diet versus caloric restriction on weight loss, weight maintenance, and heart health in obese individuals. The caloric restriction diet basically involves reducing the overall amount of calories you intake during the day. The results showed that intermittent fasting was not any better than caloric restriction. However, there were more people that dropped out of the fasting group in the study compared to the caloric restriction group. Overall, it seems to be a matter of personal preference as both diets yielded similar results. More research is definitely required to assess the long term health effects of intermittent diet. Let me actually call my friend right now so she can tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, yeah. A few moments later. Thanks so much for meeting up with me. Oh, no problem. I'm so curious about this diet. Yeah. So tell me, what motivated you to go on this diet? Um, at the time, I was like running a lot, and I want to be fit, I want to be healthy. So I thought this was a good opportunity to have a good diet and be strong and fit. And so what kind of meals do you usually eat on this diet? Well, so I would just mostly eat three meals a day for sure. Snacks, maybe once or twice, but keeping it like whole food. And still eating healthy even though sure. you're fast for When you first started this diet, did you find it hard to fast for these long hours or was it okay? Um, I actually found it very hard. Mm -hmm. And now I'm really quick, especially in the morning, I'm like starving. But then you get, get, you get used you to, get it, so. to it. Um, so do you combine your diet with like a workout routine to get better results? Yeah, definitely. I, like I run, I do workouts too, and I think you are like what you eat. So if you're eating healthy, you don't just want to not do any exercise at all too. So I find like working out has definitely been like a good addition. I do most of my workouts earlier in the day. Okay. Um, so did you see a difference in your body or your health after you started going on this diet? Body, not really necessarily. Maybe I got like more definition. Like, Health-wise, I felt lighter when I went to bed, like not as full, not as bloated, which helped with like sleep. And then in the morning, I would like refuel. So I felt like eating most of my meals during the day and like not eating at night have definitely become a routine and it's been like beneficial. And finally, would you recommend this diet to someone else? Um, I would recommend this diet. I would make sure to let them know like this is a long process. It's hard to get into that pattern of fasting for 12 hours. But I found like digestible wise, like it would help digestively not eating super late really at night. You'll feel better in the morning. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Maybe I'll try it out. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'll take you.